For our Japan experience to come full circle, we wanted to get a taste of the countryside. So from Osaka, we plan to go to the Fuji Five Lakes region. In this video, we'll talk about the five things we loved about our Kawaguchiko experience. Number one, the journey. When we search this route in Google Maps, the top suggestion is for us to go back to Tokyo and board another service from there to Kawaguchiko. This is the part where you have to override Google and deviate from the beaten path. What we did was board the Tokaido Shinkansen to Mishima Station and from there, we transferred to a local train to Numazu. From Numazu, we transferred to the Gotemba Line and got off at the Gotemba Station. Finally, we boarded the bus that took us from Gotemba to Fuji Kawaguchiko. The train station at Numazu was different from the rest of the stations we've seen in Tokyo and Osaka. The wooded platforms and vintage fields gave us a better glimpse of the countryside. Once you arrive at the Gotemba station, simply walk straight towards the bus stop where you can find the ticketing office. Just tell the attendant that you are going to Kawaguchiko. The ticket from Gotemba to Kawaguchiko costs about 1,500 yen per way. This bus ride was an experience in itself. Since we traveled in October, most of the leaves have started to change in varying hues of red and yellow. Plus, we got a chance to see Lake Yamanako. The second thing we loved about this experience is of course Lake Kawaguchi itself. Kawaguchiko is the most popular of the Fuji Five Lakes when it comes to tourism. It is also the second largest of the Fuji Five Lakes in terms of surface area. The long shorelines make room for many lakeside hotels and activities, attracting thousands of visitors all year round. It is one of the major starting points for those planning to climb Mount Fuji. Kawaguchiko is extremely close to Mount Fuji, allowing you best views of the mountain on a clear day. This brings us to the third thing we loved about this experience, which is the Mount Kachikachi Ropeway.
This ropeway takes you in a lift to the top of Mount Tenjo. The top of the mountain offers one of the best views of both Lake Kawaguchi and Mount Fuji. Round trip tickets for adults costs 800 yen. Unfortunately, Fuji-san was feeling shy the day we visited. Nevertheless, the view of the lake and the mountain slopes under the soft light of the afternoon sun was worth the trip. As soon as we hit the golden hour, Kawaguchiko was even more enchanting, creating an effect that made the leaves explode in vibrant shades of amber. It was a sight that I could never replicate with my camera, and it left all of us in awe for a few hours. Number 4. The Hotel We stayed in a Japanese-style room at the Kawaguchiku Hotel. Conveniently located in the heart of the Japanese Alps, the hotel offers stunning views of the lake. A communal bath or an onsen is available for guests. Normally, cameras are not allowed in these types of facilities, but we were able to film since we came before everyone else early in the morning. After taking a relaxing bath from the onsen, you can take time to chill in the relaxation room while enjoying a view of Lake Kawaguchi. The main building bears a classical feel, which some guests may consider outdated. But this is the exact reason why we booked this hotel. Through the vintage furniture and design, it managed to preserve a piece of its rich history. The hotel once received Emperor Hirohito and his son as guests for two nights in 1955. Another thing to love about this hotel is the delicious Japanese breakfast included in our stay. Of course, we can't help but love the autumn colors in Kawaguchiko. They say the best time to visit is around mid-November, but we came here in late October and the colors were already picture perfect. 